not to mention that they're captains who could be going with uh, who knows which group they're with, but they're right there together, uh, can also be informing them of what's going on. And some captains are, hey, they do keep them going, what's going on. Other captains are, uh, hey, don't look at the leaderboards. Let's just, just go play golf and not worry about it. Sat in on the rules meeting last night where they discussed the role of the captain here this week. And some teams have multiple captains. Only one can be designated to actually give golfing advice on the golf course, and that being the, the captain, uh, the announced captain. So they do have their work cut out to go back and forth between the groups as you watch Brad Mole's birdie effort here with his partner in there very close, really just trying to two-putt this and give him a run and still has some work left yeah, for a three. that wasn't quite what he wanted to do. And, and Will, th that point is really a sensitive point also, especially for the players here who are playing collegiately in the United States because the, the USJ and the RNA, they've sort of come together with an agreement that in college golf they do allow both the head coach and the assistant coach to help during the round and so it could be very easy for players to get confused in this international event they're coming some of these players just came from college in fact there are some college coaches here watching their players this week so it is a, is a point that had to be stressed I heard the rules officials talking before they got in to make sure and stress that point because in this international event only one captain can actually give advice to their players